hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'll be taking you through another series of statistics made easy and it is called organization of statistical survey what do we mean by organization of statistical survey basically we are just going to look for a synonym for survey which can be either investigation or an inquiry so in a, in, in in nutshell statistical investigation or statistical inquiries organization of statistical survey means statistical investigation or inquiry generally data are so are so many and most times we need to gather or collect or analyze or present data and that is why we are looking at organization of statistical survey how why for example we might decide to investigate on consumption pattern of students in Malite, or we might decide to investigate on consumption pattern of students generally across the world or across Nigeria. Basically, there are two types of statistical investigation. The first one is called the general purpose survey or investigation, and the second one is called the special purpose survey or investigation, like I said earlier. What then is the general purpose survey? This is the kind of investigation or inquiry that is done and it is done for several purposes. The result is used for several purposes or the data obtained are used for several purposes. A good example of this is the, um, is the census. census. When the result of census is being, is being gotten, you can you can use it to know the population rate you can use it to know the death rate you can use it to know the 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 trend of population over a period of time and many other things then for special purpose survey the special purpose survey the this kind of investigation is done for a specific purpose from the word special for a specific purpose as an undergraduate student i might decide to carry out a, the, the the effect of covid-19 on business performance of small scale industry in Ilori or Ilori Metropolis or Nigeria as a whole. So the special purpose survey is obtained or used in solving a particular problem. Then what are the stages of statistical survey? Basically, there are two stages of statistical survey. The first stage is called planning the survey and the second stage is called executing the survey. We we usually say that any organization that that fails to plan, then they have done what they have planned to fail. So the first thing in the statistical inquiry or statistical survey is planning the survey. And like we know, planning is of paramount importance in any organization or any enterprise. So likewise, in an in in, in a, a statistical inquiry, planning is of utmost importance and. There are many things to considered to be considered before planning. What is the first thing? The first thing is to know the purpose of the investigation. What is the purpose of the investigation? Why are you carrying out the investigation? For example, if the Nigerian government is to carry out census now, one, they want to know the growth rate, they want to know birth rate, they want to know death rate, they want to know the pattern of growth over a period of time. They also want to compare the growth rate between the last sensor and this sensor. So the purpose of survey must be known or the purpose of the investigation must be known before any investigation can be carried out. Then also the nature of of information to be collected. What kind of information are you willing to get or what kind of data are you willing to get from the investigation? Then thirdly, what is the scope of the survey or the investigation you are carrying out? The scope means what is the coverage? For example, are you looking at, if it's census, we are looking at the whole of Nigeria. We are looking at all the states that are included or that's, that, is, that is embedded in Nigeria. For a, another example, if for example, we want to look at the, the rate of, the rate of what is the impact of COVID-19 on business performance of some selected multinational corporations in Nigeria. That means we are looking at, we, we are looking at a place where there are clusters of multinational cooperation so the scope means the coverage then the sources of data is also another important thing to look at under planning what kind what source what are the sources of data you want that you want to you want to make use of is it a primary data or a secondary data then another important point is to know the techniques of data collection what are the techniques of data collection what we mean by techniques is is it going to be true census or is it going to be an a personal 
interview or is it going to be an indirect interview or is it going to be true correspondent it is, is it going to be true questionnaire or what techniques of data collection are you are you willing to use then also another one important thing under planning is what kind of accuracy are you expecting what is the degree of accuracy desired it is for us to plan a statistical investigation all these elements and points that i've mentioned are of significant importance then secondly we just said statistical another point to note is executing the survey and after planning the next point of action is to execute because at the stage of planning we have looked at the right left right and center we have looked at all other elements that are supposed to be considered in the statistical investigation so after planning the next stage is executing the survey we have just said that for any organization for you to have a, a good outcome planning is of essence then after all the work of planning you have known the reason why you are carrying out the survey you have known the scope scope you have known the unit of data collection you have also known the type of data you want to use the next thing is to sp spring into action that is execute the investigation or inquiry that you want to you want to undertake and under executing too there are several stages but i'm just going to mention a few because of the purpose of this video what are those stages the first thing under executing the survey or investigation is setting up an administrative office for example i always make use of census let's say for example the nigerian government wants to carry out census the last census we had was in 2006 so let's say for example in 2021 a census is supposed to be carried out what is the first thing the, the, the federal government will do is to set up an administrative office in all the 36 states in Nigeria. It means National Population Commission Office. There should be a physical office where maybe where they will meet, where all the people, where the people, all the people involved will meet. They will have to do meetings, they will have to do marking, some reports, some other areas that are even included in Nigeria that we don't know. People can submit reports, investigations, and like that. Then another point under executing the survey is design of form. The last census that was held in Nigeria was in 2006. I was one of the enumerators, so I understand the meaning of design of form. What do I mean by design of form? Before you go to any, any house or any compound, you have to have the details of your inquiry. Are you asking the man, okay, man, how old are you? How many children do you have? How many wives do you have? What are the ages of this student? For example, if the man says, I have four wives, okay, because it's census, all the four wives ask, they have to come out to see physically. It census means the head count of people living within a geographical place within a period of time. So the four wives will come out, we write down, we have seen four wives, there are four wives. Then these wives, how many children do they also have? We also write down. So a form has to be defined for the inquiry or investigation you are about to carry to to carry out. Then after designs design of form, the next thing is selection, training and supervision of the field investigator. What do we mean by selection? You just don't pick anybody from the streets to come and do an enumerator or supervisor or to carry out the activity of the census you have to train you have to carefully select you have to train you have to tell them what to do part time and how the census how the investigation is going to be carried out then another point we need to consider is control over the quality of the field work most people sometimes People don't do their job and what do we do as either supervisor or superior officers they need to go over what people have submitted or the form they said they have submitted to have a good quality of the, the of the investigation that we are carrying out then also another point is follow-up of non-response there are some areas maybe because of their culture or their religion you don't have access to yours at the time you are doing the census what do you do when you get back to the office you report that and you they now send back other people to go and check such communities or such environment and do a proper counting head count of the people living with that within that environment or um streets then another point to look at is called processing of data after all you have you, you have set up an administrative office you have designed the form you have selected trained 
the super the supervisors and field investigators then you have also followed follow up non-response the next thing is to process the data how does the data come the data does not just come and say ah nigeria we have 250 million people in nigeria mm -mm. for example if this is lagos or this is quara for example we take the record per local government in quara we have 16 local governments so maybe if Elodo brings this report, we are so 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 number in if Elodo. Then if Ekpodo brings their own report, we are so 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 number. Iloi West bring their own report. Then Moro brings their own report. It is all the report of the sixteen local government we add together to form the total number of people living in Kwara State, and that is processing of data. Then the the another thing is to is to preparation of the report after all. The data has been submitted from different states of Nigeria. I've just cited an example of Kwara and for, for Lagos, for Kaduna, for your for Yogun states. All the reports are submitted together. And the, in the National Population Commission Head Office, these results are collated and eventually a, a figure is arrived at that adding up all the states from local governments to states. These are the total number of people in Nigeria, and that is how the report is eventually collected or, or gathered, and we have a figure for the total number of people living in Nigeria. Uh, in, in summary, I've just said three important things. I've told us what a statistical um, investigation is. I've also said the types of statistical investigation. Then I've also said the stages involved in statistical investigation. I've said planning the survey and executing the survey. When planning, all hands has to be on deck so that execution can be successful. Thank you.